What were the 10 most insane and powerful nukes of the Cold War? Today's rather chilling countdown takes us to the era of mutually assured destruction. These weapons have shaped history and played a significant role in global geopolitics. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Kicking off our list at number 10 is the Mark 16, also known as the TX-16. This early nuclear bomb was developed during the early stages of the Cold War. The Mark 16 was intended for both strategic and tactical use. It could be used against a variety of targets, including military installations and ground forces. It had a yield in the range of 4 to 8 kilotons. That's 0.004 to 0.008 megatons. At number 9 is the Mark 36 nuclear bomb, an early atomic bomb. It was part of the US nuclear arsenal during the 1950s. The Mark 36 was gradually phased out of the US nuclear arsenal in the late 1950s and early 1960s, as more advanced and compact nuclear weapons were developed and deployed. With a yield in the range of 10 to 15 kilotons, 0.01 to 0.015 megatons. Number 7 is the RDS-37, developed by the Soviet Union. It was designed to be delivered by strategic bombers such as the Tupolev Tu-95 and Tu-16. The RDS-37 was successfully tested on November 22, 1955 during Operation RDS-37, which was the first successful test of a Soviet hydrogen bomb. It had a yield of approximately 3.9 megatons. Taking the 8th spot is the B-53, also known as the Mark 53. This powerful bomb was a variable yield weapon. The B-53 was in service for several decades, from the late 1950s through to the early 1990s. It served as part of the US strategic nuclear deterrence during the Cold War era, and was gradually retired as newer and more versatile nuclear weapons were developed and deployed. It had a maximum yield of around 9 megatons. The Ivy Mike H-bomb comes in at number 6. It was the first successful test of a hydrogen bomb by the United States. Ivy Mike's design relied on cryogenic method to cool and condense deuterium gas into a metallic state, allowing for the efficient fusion of hydrogen isotopes. The bomb's size and complexity were notable for the era, and its success marked a significant advancement in nuclear weapon technology. It had a yield of approximately 10.4 megatons. And number 5 is the Mark 24, also known as the B-24 nuclear bomb. The Mark 24 was a substantial bomb with a length of approximately 160 inches, 4.1 meters, and a diameter of 26 inches, 0.66 meters. It weighed around 41,000 pounds, 18,597 kilograms. It had a variable yield with a maximum potential of around 15 megatons. Coming in at number 4 is the Mark 17, also known as the EC-17 nuclear bomb. It was one of the few early thermonuclear bombs that could be adapted for artillery delivery. This meant it could potentially be fired from a specially designed artillery piece, providing an additional means of deployment for this powerful weapon. It had a maximum yield of around 15 megatons. The TX-21, also known as the Shrimp, is our number 3. This was the code name for the Castle Bravo test, which resulted in a devastating explosion leading to unintended consequences. The TX-21 Shrimp utilised lithium deuteride LID, as its fusion fuel. The reaction involved lithium deuteride and the isotope of hydrogen, deuterium and tritium, contributed to the significant yield of the explosion. The test produced a large amount of radioactive fallout, affecting nearby atolls and leading to significant environmental and health consequences for the local population. It had a yield of 15 megatons. Our runner-up at number 2 is the B-41 nuclear bomb. It was a variable yield weapon, meaning it could be adjusted to provide different levels of destructive power. It was one of the most powerful bombs ever created. Designed to be delivered by a range of aircraft including strategic bombers such as the B-52 Stratofortress and the B-58 Hustler, this versatility in delivery platforms allowed it to serve various strategic and tactical roles. It had a maximum yield of around 25 megatons. And now the moment you've been waiting for, our number one is the Tsar Bomber, also known as the RDS-220 Hydrogen Bomb. The Tsar Bomber was tested by the Soviet Union on October 30th, 1961. It had an astonishing yield of approximately 50 megatons of TNT, making it the most powerful nuclear explosion in history. To put it in perspective, 
It was 3,333 times more powerful than the bomb that destroyed Hiroshima. It was an enormous device weighing about 27 metric tons, 59,500 pounds, and measuring approximately 26 feet, 7.85 meters in length. It was so large that it had to be carried by a specifically modified Soviet Tu-95 bomber. The Tsar bomber was detonated over Novaya Zemlya archipelago in the Arctic Ocean. The bomb was airdropped from an altitude of 10,500 meters, 34,449 feet, and it detonated at an altitude of about 4,000 meters, 13,123 feet. The mushroom cloud reached an altitude of nearly 67 kilometers, 41.6 miles, and a width of 95 kilometers, 59 miles. These 10 nuclear weapons represent a chapter of human history that we must never forget. The power of these weapons is a stark reminder of the importance of diplomacy, disarmament and peace. If you found this video informative and thought provoking, please like, share and subscribe for more captivating content. Thank you for joining us today at BizVinci and goodbye.